Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Ari Stavchansky. So happy you could take time out of your schedule to learn about Data Clay's latest offering that we are calling Q. That's Q-U-E. Q is an API that will allow you to integrate your own app with Templator for Adobe After Effects. In this video, what I'm gonna show you is how to get onboarded with Q by coming to our website and checking out. And then I'll show you how to log in at the Q dashboard. Okay, so when you get to dataclay.com, you can go to the shop menu and you can click on Q, or you can just go to dataclay.com slash Q, and you'll see an explainer video and some intro information. As you scroll down, you'll just see some basic concepts about Q, namely templates, jobs, campaigns, and satellites. Scrolling further down, we see some information about documentation, and then a little bit of info about who Q is really for, why it's useful, and some key benefits that come with using Q. Once you get past all of this, you're gonna see information about Q plans and pricing. And we are launching with a solo or team plan, and the plans are really based off of how many users can access your Q data and how many machines can access your Q data. For the solo plan, a single user can access the dashboard and two machines can access the data in your Q account. For the Q team, you can have an admin user and up to four invited members, and you can have up to five machines accessing your Q data. And the machines that have access to Q are called satellites. All right, so once you're ready to decide on which plan you wanna start with, you go down here and you decide whether or not you're a small business or enterprise, and then you check that you've read the terms of service and privacy policy and go ahead and click add to cart. And once it's inside your cart, if you have a promo code, go ahead and apply it. Otherwise, you just click on checkout. And the most important thing here is that the email address that you use to check out matches the email address that you use to have an account at dataclay.com. So while you can check out without first registering at dataclay.com, I highly suggest to create an account at dataclay.com if you don't already have one and then check out with that email associated with your account. So even if it's a social sign-on identity that you used at dataclay.com, go ahead and use that email address in this field. Then decide on your payment method and enter in the payment method, click save payment details, and then you will get a Q login. You'll have some emails in your inbox, but for now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just show you where to go after you've verified your email and you have submitted your payment details. So once everything there is done, then you're gonna to go to q.dataclay.com and this is going to be a dashboard. This is what we call the Q dash. You can see I'm already logged in here, but if I log out, this is the login screen that you're gonna see. And you know, you go here to log in and you're gonna get past our universal login screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on login with Google and use the Data Clay demo account. And you can see we have access to the templates view, the campaign view, and the satellites view. Now, none of these views have any data, so that's why they're all blank. And we are, through the course of these videos, gonna show you how to add that data. So up here on the upper right, you can go to your account and you can see some information about your profile. You have an API token here, which is really critical to integrating your own apps. You have an organization ID, the organization name, your email, and then you have information about the plan that you've got. So with that, I'm gonna just conclude this video and we'll get into a different concept. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to click around to learn more and subscribe to our channel so you can learn the latest techniques for automating your video production process. I'm Ari Stepchansky, signing off. Thanks again.